You're just in time. Contents. One ventriloquist dummy. Hack me novelty company. Battle Shriek, Michigan. Oh, goody. Watch this, kiddies. You won't see my lips move. You know why? I don't have any. Well, hello, Dickie. Would you like me to tell a tale from the crypt? No thanks, Scatbrat. Then how about sitting a little closer to the fire? That's better. Now I can dole out a diseased little ditty about the schizophrenic nature of showbiz and how to hack your way to the top. So grab hold of your guts, kiddies, cause tonight you get to rub elbows with the ventriloquist's dummy. <laughs> so you're going to Africa on safari, eh? Are you crazy? That's very dangerous. You could run across a very angry lion. I'll have my gun with me. Does it shoot lions? No, stupid, it shoots bullets. Lions are too big to load. How about a nice pop in the mouth? What are you, kidding me? Listen, maybe you ought to skip going after <laughs> Stay home and go hunting here. I love this Ducks and geese. But I can't tell the difference between ducks and geese. It's very easy. Ducks go quack, quack. Understand? And geese go honk, honk. If a pack of birds fly over and they go honk, honk, what do you do? Pull over and let them pass. <laughs> What the hell are you applauding about? What are you, seals? That's one of my big ones. And the fat guy better laugh. I see you, the fat guy. I'm going to put stripes on your face and roll you down the beach for a half hour. <laughs> Very seriously, I'm looking around and I see the food that's on the table. There's flies are starting to die right, right, right on the plate. How's the food in this place, huh? Don't eat. I brought my girl here for dinner last night and she found a bug in her soup. Oh, that's terrible. What happened? She yelled, waiter. Remove this insect at once. And? The guy threw me out. <laughs> that was a good one, huh, lady? Well, the old broad came alive. They've been up here a half hour, and the old broad finally went, That was a good one, Lou. Stop coughing when I'm delivering funny lines. Put yourself in a hospital and just lay there with the covers open and let the nurse stare at you. Look, if you're hungry, just order something. I hear the tongue sandwich is pretty good. Well, I'll be very honest with you. I never eat anything that comes from an animal's mouth. Well, then, how about some eggs? Oh, oh wise guy, huh, Morty? Hey, Steve, you're really getting to it. Hold on to this autograph, kid. We'll be worth the bundle someday. What do you want to be when you grow up, Billy? A ventriloquist, just like you. Nonsense. He wants to be a doctor, don't you, Billy? <laughs> hey, Bill, anytime you need any advice or a few tips, feel free to look me up, okay, kid? <laughs> Golly, Mr. Ingalls. Thanks. Look, Mom. It's lovely. Let's go. We still got our date, don't we? I know this great little after-hours joint. I I'm not feeling very well. What do you mean you're not feeling very well? Don't listen to him, baby. He's never felt better. Let's go. <laughs> and where are you going to take me to? How about our bungalow, Toots? What? We'll show you our etchings. <laughs> you are so cute. And you? You're not so bad yourself. Oh, super mom. Lights out now, Billy. Okay, Mom. Lights out. Murder. I said now. We're here. Come on, Tim. Oh. Wow. Where are we? Is this... 
136. Must be it. Hi, Mr. Ingalls. Oh, hello, sir. You probably... No. Hi, sir. You probably don't remember me. My name is, um, Billy Goldman. Um, I met you a long time ago. It's private property, jerk off! Go away! Mr. Ingalls, sir, you probably don't remember me, but my name is Billy Goldman. Piss off! You want it in writing, huh? Piss off! I have been driving for three days. I am not leaving until you talk to me. Hi, my name is Tim. Fire, can Morty come out and play? Oh, shit. Come on in. Well, close the door, schmuck. It's not a barn. Hey, hey, it ain't gonna be that long, huh? What's on your mind? Make your point. I, I'm Billy Goldman. Uh, you said I could look you up. Oh, yeah? Well, um, it was 15 years ago. I... I was 11 years old. Oh, he's got a memory like an elephant. Uh, how lucky can you get? I was there. I, I saw your last performance. How was I? You were, well, you were great. You were unbelievable. Good answer. Who writes your material? Wow. Is that Morty? Can I, I want to... No, hey, hey, don't touch that. Leave it alone, will you? He's retired, like me. What is it with you? What do you want from me? So much history. So many memories. Showgirl dies in a tragic resort fire. Famous ventriloquist injured. Some memories are better than others. I'm not even sure how the fire started. All I know was I lost everything that night. Everything. Couldn't you operate on Morty with your left hand? Left, left, left. That's good for opening doors and swatting flies. This is the hand that had the magic in it. Why did you come, huh? To stir up old memories? To pry into my pain? Speak up, damn it! Um, tomorrow is uh, amateur night at the oh, nautical club. Uh, who gives it? I wanted my first time in front of an audience to be on the very same stage that I saw you perform. I was hoping that maybe you could come by and, uh, and give me uh, your critique, you know, maybe some pointers. I don't go out much. Yeah, well, thanks. Um, sorry I wasted your time. Mr. Ingalls, ever since I saw you that night, you've been my idol. Because of you... All I've ever wanted to be is a ventriloquist. I gotta know if I've got what it takes. Only you can tell me that. Hey, kid. What's your name again? Billy Goldman. Billy Goldman, you forgot your act. Billy! I'll think about it. I'll think about it. What do you think, Morty? Damn it, you're right. Boy, you said it sounds like a cat in heat. I think she's pretty good. Hey, watch it. Big tits. That's the secret to amateur life. Always make sure you got big tits. Otherwise, you're <laughs> sunk. Excuse me. Hey. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, my God. He actually came. He's here. He's here. Right, let's go, you're Let's go, let's go. Come on, come on. Hey, okay. Hey, my chair. They have your chairs. They're waiting for you. What's in the Come on. Come on. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, amateur night love continues at the Nautical Club with an unknown, unheard of, and likely to stay that way. Just kidding. <laughs> the fabulous ventriculism of Tim. That's your name. Billy. My name's Billy. And Billy. Tim and Billy. Come on. Put your hands together. Come on. Good evening, ladies and 
ladies and gentlemen, or ladies and gents. Bring I just back the fucking girl with the tits. I just recently flew in from New Jersey. And my eyes are afraid. Come on, kid, you can do it. My partner and myself would like to take this time to announce that we have a special guest in the audience here. Uh, a, a man who, without any doubt, is probably the world's greatest ventriloquist. Oh, what? Who cares? Who's a loving Pie. Want to buy a girl a drink? You know, you're kind of cute. You look like my grandfather. Yeah. Have a special today on family members. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Well, if you change your mind, I'm down there. Hook up. It was terrible, wasn't it? It wasn't terrible. Okay, it was terrible. You had no technique, no concentration, and no material. And you had no idea how to work the audience. Billy, I suggest you look for another line of work. Yeah. Listen, um, thanks for coming down, and um, I'm sorry about the wasted trip. Billy. Billy, I'm truly sorry. Believe me. I know what it's like when your whole life's dream crumbles like dust in your hand. Thanks. Buy you a drink, my dear? What was I fucking thinking about? My mother was right. Everybody's been right. Fuck you! Ah! Oh! Ah! What happened here? At first, we thought they were necking, but then the guy saw us and took off running through the woods. Uh, did you see him? Uh, Why did he look like? Uh, he was gone. Uh, he, he did it. Hey, sticks of gas. Nobody, nobody smoke. Pull them up. Don't smoke. Nobody smoke. Mr. Engels? Oh, my get God. Get out of here, it! <laughs> hey, hey, just get that. What the hell are you pulling here? Hey, give me that. That's my morphine. Give me that. Let me go, You idiot. Don't you know what you're doing? You nothing but a junkie. Ah, to think I admired you. To think I wanted to be just like you. Please, please don't hurt me. You killed that woman tonight, didn't you? No, no, not, not me. Don't lie to me, old man. You killed her. No, You no. stick of gasoline. You're trying to set a fire to cover it up, just like that other woman 15 years ago. Oh, no, no, I set those fires, but I never killed any of those people. Then, then who killed her? Who killed her? Morty. Who? Morty. He hates women. 
He's never been able to have a woman in a normal way. Oh, I... I try to stop him. But there's just no reasoning with Morty. He's very willful. And very psychotic. Mr. Ingalls, there's, um, people who understand, uh, people who can help you. What are you saying? I'm crazy? Split personality? That I hear voices in my head in the middle of the night? I think you better go now. Before Morty tries to hurt you. Morty can't hurt me. He, he, he's made of cloth and wood. Nothing else. You don't know what you're saying. I'll show you. Morty. Please. Not again. He can't hurt me. Uh, he's... He's not real. He can't do anything. He isn't alive. He's just a dummy. They manufactured him. I'll prove it to you. Come here, Mr. Engels. Come over here and take a look at this. He isn't real. He's constructed of wood and cloth. Some wires, some cables. He has no mind. No soul. And no head. You know it all, huh? Know it all, you little shit! Go on! Go on! You missed something! Take a look! Go ahead! Look! Look! Look at him! That's right, I'm mad. Morty's like me. He's real. He's flesh and blood. In fact, Morty... It's my brother! <laughs> my brother! He's being... Yes, Morty! Ah, we were born like this. I guess we were meant to be twins, but nature can work in a cruel way sometimes. Rather than go through life as freaks, we decided on a career in show business. Yeah, we decided to put our heads together. That's a joke, son. I don't see you laughing. <laughs> For 15 years, I kept them drugged up, away from the world, especially the ladies. Then you had to come along and stir things up. You can clean them! Cut it up! Even destroyed the last of the morphine. The only thing that could calm him down. No, I can't even stop him. He's very willful. What are you gonna do? Talk him to death? Slice him! Unzip his guts! Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Stop! He doesn't control you! You're the retro guy! He's the dummy! I'm the brains of this outfit. It was my idea to go into showbiz. I designed the act. I wrote all the material. I wrote his ad lib. He's just a straight man. I'm the funny one. You know what it's like being stuck with my brother. All those gorgeous babes flaunting themselves and not able to do a thing about it without him. Do it. Carve him up. Ah! I'm sorry, Billy. You're a nice kid, but I gotta chop you. I gotta cut you into steaming little pieces. Stop. You can fight him, Mr. Eagles. You can fight him. Don't tell everybody about us. Don't put us away in a dark place. Lock us up with all the other freaks. Now do it. Chop his head in two. Kill him. Kill him. Get out of my head, you little shit. Get out of my head. You'll be okay. It doesn't matter, Billy. I'm free. Finally free. Oh, contraire, my friend. Oh. I'm the one who's finally free. Cheap fucking seats! Ah! Ah! Where are you? Come on out! Where are you? Get the point? <laughs> I'm gonna turn you into a greasy little smear, you bitch! Over here, turkey! What an ugly bastard! 
You inbred fucking cabbage patch cat! You're a real schmuck! I'm gonna turn you into brain fucking pie! Hey, Mom! Whoa, 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 Castle casserole pal, and you're the Ow. main ingredient. <laughs> oh, Jesus. It's killing No. Wait. We can make a deal. Shut up. You know what I'm saying. Oh, oh Jesus Christ. It's killing me. I'll do anything you want. Ow. Ow. Ugh. Anything. Anything. I swear. Anything? Now, direct from Las Vegas, here's Morty and Billy. It's showtime, folks. She says to me, you know a better way to study astronomy? <laughs> well, what did you do then? What else? I showed her my telescope, the big one. I'm telling you, she really saw stars that night. Hold the phone. Look what just walked in. <laughs> Hubba, hubba, yow! What a tomato! Morty, um, about the telescope, did you discover any other new heavenly bodies that night? You bet your ass! Feast your eyes on her! Hey, baby, what are you doing after the show? Stick the material, damn it! Forget the material! The Tootsie's making eyes at me! Warning you! I bet she could set the varnish off a footstool! Good Johnny! Look, we had an agreement. You get top billing, the ladies are off limits. Now cut the shit, or I'm going to shoot her right back into that meat grinder. I think you're going to find that a little difficult. Yeah. Not to mention ah. me, What are you doing? Renegotiating our deal, ah. partner. Ah. 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 Try to scratch your ass now, bust up. Looks like we're stuck with each other. <laughs> what do you say, folks? Billy deserves a big hand, don't you think? Sheesh, the thing some folks will do to get ahead in show business. Oh well, next time somebody tells Billy he's no dummy, he can say, Wanna bet? <laughs> oh!